If you're watching our videos from the web 2011, you're noticing a trend that a lot of entrepreneurs are analyzing the social data and the news and the things streaming down our screens. And today we're going to see Scoop It, which is doing real-time curation on mobile phones, but doing something very unique. And we're going to see them right now. So I'm Guillaume de Cugis. I'm the CEO and co-founder of uh, Scoopit, which is a publishing by curation platform. Yeah. At the web, uh, there's a lot of stuff coming out here. Flipboard just came out with a new iPhone app, and that's probably the most sexy oh, yeah. uh, you know, newspaper, social magazine thing going on. But there's a lot of entrepreneurs we've been uh, interviewing who are analyzing social streams and social data and people and What's going on here? Why, why is Paris such a hotbed of this social thing? Um, I don't know. I, I think it's, the theme was you know social, mobile, and local, and I think it's a it's a global trend. Um, and uh, you know we're actually you know we're based in San Francisco, and we're seeing a lot of uh, you know startups also looking at that. I think you know you're mentioning Flipboard, and they're producing a great reader experience. And I think the need cur for curation has never been that high. There was a good infographic saying the web is full. Well, what Scoopit is all about is you know helping you know do their own Flipboard, like publishing media. Like yeah. we're kind of doing the opposite, helping people publish a media by by curation. Yeah. And we think you know it's very powerful. It's uh, lowering the barrier to expression on the web, uh, and now it's even going mobile. Uh, and mobile is a big deal because. That's where, you know, if you're bored or if you're at a fire or if you're a journalist kind of thing, you have your mobile phone, you don't have your computer anymore, and you, that's where you're reading and, you know, you get a little exactly. brain fart and you want to type well, something. I remember that article, you, that blog post you wrote about, you know, the seven needs of, uh, you know, uh, real-time curators. You said you had it right there, you know, mobile is essential. And I think, you know, there's been a number of people struggling with how do we make uh, expression on mobile happen? It works great with photos, like on Instagram, and you know, it, it, it works great with tweets. But how do you publish a media? And so far, blogging has kind of been having a so-so experience on mobile because it's like the baby blogging thing, and you don't you don't get something which is desktop class. Now, the thing with Scoopit, you know, uh, leveraging curation is it's really awesome. You can't tell when I publish something from my mobile app whether I publish it from my mobile app or from you know the website. Yeah. It's really you know desktop class publishing. And it's the same. So that's really what's what's awesome about it. Very cool. So what are you? You just came out with this mobile thing. What what does that let you do? So it's uh, if you're a Scoopit user, uh, what you're essentially getting from the platform are a lot of suggestions from either our algorithm or from other people who are co-curators who can make suggestions to you, and you get totally digital control on what you're going to be publishing. So Scoopit as a platform helps you source relevant content on your favorite topic, and then you can publish that very easily and create your own magazine and share it and, and feed feed it to you know Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google Plus. Now, what we took from this experience is the essentials, and we brought that to mobile. So you're going to be able to review your suggestions, add links from Safari Mobile, uh, review suggestions from other users, and the, the social connections on the platform are very powerful. And you're going to be able to publish on the go yeah. and, and create your media on the go. Are, are you able to suggest media that I should read in this? Yeah. Because you know that's the full loop. If I publish something on quilting, do I see more items about quilting coming in? So you got it, and then we, the way we do it is socially. So what, what's, you know, what's good with Twitter is you follow people, but yeah. in our model, you follow topics. And so what, as you start creating a topic and as you start getting an audience, you get people to follow you, and those people can make suggestions to you. Anyone, even, you don't even need to have an account on Scoopit to be suggesting content to me. And as I, you know, I develop my, my topic, I'm going to have people suggesting me content to read, and if I like them, I can publish them. Yeah. And that's very powerful because we're actually using the algorithm for what is good, but we're using social, well, you know, to actually let have the last say and, and do the editorial control. Wow, how do you build a business with this? Because you know, it's it's a tough world right now. There's so much to pay attention to, and most end users are are addicted to Facebook or maybe yeah. Twitter. How, how do you make a business out of this? We're actually pretty unique because I think a lot of people have been focusing on deriving adver advertising revenue. And I think you know when you look at all of the startups looking for advertising revenue, you, you kind of look at, hey, you know, the market will not absorb that. And so we've chosen a totally different model. We're a publisher-centric model where actually companies 
can have company accounts yeah. on Scoopit for a premium model, which is a subscription model. Right now we launched a uh, first offer, which is $79 a month, and we launched that a month ago, and it's been fantastic. So it gives the companies the ability to actually white label their, their magazine that they've been uh, publishing on the Scoopit platform. And if you think about it, a lot of people are struggling with expression and blogging and social media, including companies. Yeah. So all of the small side, mid-sized companies, now they have a solution and they can finally become a media. There's this uh, sentence that I like by Brian Solis, which is, every brand must become a media to stay relevant. Yeah. And that's true for big brands, but that's also true for developing brands. And so if you have a startup and you're building up your brand, you want to use social media. You want to yeah. get those followers. You want to get people to follow you. But if you're not going to be publishing great content, you're not going to be followed. And no, that's, that's what, what Scoopit enables. That's what Rocky and I and a group of, of people at Rackspace are doing. We're building Rackspace Media House, which is uh, exactly. building media for Rackspace, right? Content marketing is the new advertising. And yeah. so we, we, we help smaller companies enable that. Very cool. Because not everyone is able to have a Robert Scoble in the house. No, that's true. <laughs> so for the rest of them, they're Scoopit. <laughs> Very cool. Where do we find it? So scoop.it on the web, and the app's going to get published in probably next week. It's yeah. S-C-O-O-P dot I-T. Thank you so much. Thank you, Robert. Mm -hmm.